Furthermore, we have addition and subtraction rule to some extent. We have got familiar with this rule over here. Here, basically, suppose one particular function y is equal to u plus v, then dy by suppose you have a function y is equal to u plus v. That is, a function is a sum of two functions, then dy by dx is nothing but du by dx plus db by dx. So this particular rule we are using same way plus or minus and this will also be plus or minus. It's a formula which we have used earlier too. Okay, so we have suppose y is equal to v by u, dy by dx is dv by dx plus du by dx. Suppose y is equal to u minus v, dy by dx is du by dx minus dv by dx. Alright, let's take up a few examples in these. So, for example, you have this. So, in this case, we have dy by dx is equal to d by dx of e raised to x plus d by dx of a raised to x plus d by dx of x raised to i. Now, let's see what is d by dx of e raised to x. By now, it should be thorough. It's just e raised to x into d by dx of x, which is 1 in any case. d by dx of a raised to x, we write a raised to x and then log a to the base e. And d by dx of x raised to 5, you use the rule x raised to n, hence it is 5x raised to 5 minus 1, 4. Alright, so this is how we are using the addition rule. Now, let's do the same thing over here. So, very interesting examples, both these which are summing up all the rules. So, log 4 raised to x. So, it is log a raised to x. So, it's going to be, now I'm not going to write this particular step again. You understand that we need to find the derivative of this. So, it's going to be log 4 raised to x is 1 by x, that is this x, into log e to the base 4. In this case, we did log a to the base. So, in the previous one, the next one, we shall be doing that way. So, it is going to be log e to the base 4. Then this one, log x, derivative of log x is 1 by x. Derivative of log 5x is 1 by 5x. Actually, this is 1 by x into d by dx of x, which is going to be 1 in any case. Here, it is going to be d by dx of 5x. We use the chain rule. So, eventually, this is log e to the base 4 upon x plus 1 by x d by dx of 5x by now 5 will be outside and d by dx of x is 1 upon 5x so it's going to be just 1 by 5x so it's eventually log e to the base 4 upon x plus 1 by x or so plus 1 by x so that is going to be 2 by x so this is how we are using the addition rule Okay, furthermore, from here we have more examples. Let's see how to do these. Okay, so now I am not going to go on doing uh, the writing d by dx of each function by now, you know. And one more very important thing is whenever you're going through these things, when you're sitting up online and going through these things, please take a paper and a pen or a pencil and try to work and please work around with me so that you can cross check whether you're going in the right direction. Okay. Fine, so we have dy by dx is 4 into d by dx of x raised to 4, which is nothing but n x raised to n minus 1 plus log x is 1 by x and this is d by dx of a raised to x, which is going to be a raised to x into log a to the base e. So this turns out to be 16 x cubed plus 1 by x plus a raised to x log a. Right. In this case, we have dy by dx is nothing but, again, 4x raised to 4, since we have done it over here, we can write the 16x cubed plus 3 into d by dx of x raised to minus 3. So, x raised to minus 3 is n, that is minus 3, x raised to minus 3, minus 1. So, it's nx raised to n minus 1 
plus log 4 raised to x which is log a raised to x so it's going to be 1 upon x into log e to the base 4 plus 4 raised to x we know is nothing but 4 raised to x into log a to the base e that means log 4 to the base e this will be 16x cubed minus 9 upon x raised to 4 plus log e to the base 4 upon x plus 4 raised to x log 4 to the base e which is just log 4. So this is how you get dy by dx. Okay, furthermore we have one more example 6x raised to 4. Okay. So in this case, we have a lot of space here. Let's see, dy by dx is 6x raised to 4. So 6 into 4x raised to 4 minus 1, 3, plus 5 upon x squared. So it's 5x raised to minus 2. So it is 5 into nx minus 2, x raised to minus 2 minus 1, minus 3, plus d by dx of 5 is 0. Because it's a constant, d by dx of log x is 1 by x, d by dx of log 3 raised to x. So once again, we use the rule log a raised to x, so it's going to be 1 by x into log e to the base 3. And then we have derivative of e raised to x, which is just e raised to x, plus 6 raised to x is a raised to x, so it's 6 raised to x into log 6 to the base e. So this is one big sum. So we have 24 x cube and this is 5 into minus 2 minus 10 upon x cube plus 1 by x plus log e to the base 3 by x plus e raised to x plus 6 raised to x log 6 to the base e. So this is what we have as a final term. So in all these, we are using the addition rule and the subtraction rule. Okay, let's check whether we have something else in the option. Okay, we have one more over here. I hope you candidates, you friends are doing the questions along with us. Okay, now let's find dy by dx for this case. 4x cubed, so 4 would be out. So 4 into 3x raised to 3 minus 1, 3x square plus 5 into nx raised to n minus 1, 1 plus 3 into x raised to 1 minus 1, 0. Then it is 1 by 4 x squared, 1 by 4 x squared. So it's going to be 1 by 4 into x raised to minus 2. So it's going to be nx that is minus 2 into x raised to minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 then 1 by 3x so 1 by 3 into x raised to minus 1 so it's going to be minus 1 into x raised to minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 plus half x square so it's going to be half into x raised to minus 2 so it's minus 2 into x raised to minus 3 again like in this case plus 3, it's a constant, so it's derivative is 0, so this will be 12x squared plus 10x plus 3 minus half x cubed, so minus x cubed minus half x cubed, so it will be minus half, mm -hmm. so it's, it's going to be minus half x cubed minus 1 by 3x squared and this is going to be minus 2 by 2 minus 1 minus 1 upon x cubed. So ultimately this is the derivative of the whole thing. So whenever you have the power in the denominator for e's sake write it as a negative power so it becomes easier for you.